Hey guys, it's Lisa and welcome to my channel. Uh, today we're going to be doing something a little different. Uh, we're going to be making a bunny and we're going to make it out of these little strainers from the Dollar Tree. Now I've already sprayed these uh, with some, um, some rust colored paint and um, I just like to do that as a base because uh, when I paint these, and I'm going to be, um, I, I like some distressing to show through, and I felt like this was a good color. Now, I glue these together with both hot glue and tight bond uh, and just kind of offset the, the handles so that they're, uh, they look like ears. So, uh, again, I just paint, I just um, glue these together with both tight bond and hot glue. And uh, now I'm just kind of uh, haphazardly painting the outside. Now, you don't have to worry about really good coverage here because we want this bunny to look kind of old and, and uh, grungy looking. So, uh, just kind of quickly paint over it and then let it dry. Now these can also be done with the little small um, strainers from the Dollar Tree and just take those little plastic things off. You have to kind of bust those off with a hammer. But anyway, that's what we have. We have a bunny head at this point. Now I'm gonna be using a doily on mine at some point. So I'm just cutting this doily in half because I need to use it on both the front and the back. Um, but now I'm taking the fabric, Warm and Natural, and you get this at, um, I, I get it at Walmart, and it's in the quilt batting section in a bag, uh, and I think it has brown lettering on it, and it says Warm and Natural, and that's what I'm using. Uh, you could use another fabric here. I guess you could use felt would be my next choice, um, because I think with this one you need some, uh, some fabric that's a little more substantial than just regular cotton and um, and I, I just feel like this is the best for this because you need almost like a padding for this so I've just cut four ears the same size and now I'm gonna be gluing these together and I'm gonna glue these together like they are and I'm not gonna worry with uh, turning them inside out or turning them right side out because um, because I, I don't mind the unfinished edge on these ears. Now, if you would like yours to be more, uh, more of a finished look uh, and not so shabby, uh, then you can definitely turn them inside out. I would cut them a little bit bigger if I were going to do that. But uh, for me, I'm just gonna glue them together and just leave that raw edge. Now, once you get these glued together, then uh, all we're gonna do is just slide them down over those handles and uh, just kind of glue and pinch, uh, pinch the bottom together. And you'll see what I'm talking about here. I just put a little glue right there on the base of the handle and just pinch it together and then you'll get that little pleat there and make it look like an ear. So this part is, is really simple and um, after you get it on you can do like I did and if you see an area that you just don't like the look of just kind of trim it down uh, but just slide that over and, um, and then uh, glue it at the base and pinch it together and again that makes your pleat and makes it look more like an ear now if you want your ears further apart than mine I just like mine straight up but if you if you like the look of further apart then you can definitely move your ears further apart and we're not going to worry with those little things on the bottom there because those are going to be covered uh, with with the neckline um, now, if you're brave enough to try to cut those off, then feel free to do that. I, I was not because they're pretty substantial. So uh, it would take a lot to cut those off. So I'm just going to hide them and it, it, it's going to have a good look anyway. So what I did here was just cut me a rectangle and 
I'm not sure what size I cut it here, uh, but you're just gonna cut it long enough to cover all of those little prongs there on the bottom. So just take it all the way across. We're not gonna worry much with pleating here because um, I'm gonna be adding another layer. So as long as we get those prongs hidden, then we're good. Now I started with the front here and honestly, it makes a little more sense to start with the back. Uh, and you'll see why here in a minute, but it wasn't a problem because again, I'm gonna be covering this layer up. So now I just flipped it to the other side and uh, I'm gonna I'm gonna glue one to the other side as well, and I'm gluing it. A, I made it a little bit longer because I want it to uh, to overlap the other, and I'm gonna just kind of fold it around so that it closes up well. And you'll see what I'm talking about here in a minute, but. Um, I just, I'm gluing it down here, but like I said, I'm leaving some excess on the side. And then here where I've got a little bit, it's a little longer uh, than the neckline, then I, I can pleat it to make up the difference here. So then I can just kind of glue it there in the center and, and then just kind of make up the difference and put a pleat there on the sides. Uh, I could have done like the front and, and just did it uh, without leaving any excess, and I probably should have. Uh, but again, this is all going to be covered up, so it's, it's not a problem. So once I get that back glued on, uh, and like I said, this should have probably been the front, uh, then I can just turn that over and cut the excess off, but I want to leave just a little bit of an overhang. The one side there is fine but this one needs to be trimmed down. And then I'm just gonna hot glue that and fold it over. And this is why it probably should have been in the back, but like I said, it's gonna be hidden, so that's okay. These little bunnies are really fun to make, and especially at this point, after we get this, the main base of it done, um, then the rest of it is just dressing him up and, and making his face, or her face in this, in this case. And I guess you could make a boy out of this. It would just be a little bit more challenging uh, because um, using the laces and, um, and bow at the top is going to um, dress this up really good and, and hide some of the flaws. So that's why I feel like it's easier to make these female. Uh, but I'm sure you guys could find a way to make a male. Now I'm just taking a piece of, uh, I think this is just a little piece of tea towel that I've, that I've uh, coffee stained and just cutting the length of the sides there because what I want to do is um, glue those two pieces together. And there's two reasons that I wanna do that. I'm, I'm not real crazy about the look of that metal trim around the edges. Uh, so it's to hide that for one thing, and then also it will help hold this little bunny together. So if our glue decides to give anywhere, this cloth will help hold it together. So, uh, but I, I think mainly it just gives it more of a finished look. And I, I just think the look is a lot prettier with this on. Now you could use any natural fabric here, any fabric that you feel like kind of goes with your the face of your bunny. Uh, I almost used lace, but I just decided I, I didn't want that to look like um, um, I was trying to dress that part up. I just kind of wanted this to look more um, primitive looking, I guess. Uh, and so this fabric to me just, just worked better. So once we get that glued in place, then uh, I'm gonna cut a, a little piece of that same fabric in the same width uh, for the top. So I'm just gonna measure the area um, of the ears. So uh, I'm gonna measure from one side of the outside of the ear to the other side of the outside. And then uh, I just cut this in half because I'm gonna use half of this on the front and half of it on the back. 
and that'll just kind of uh, hide that area really not that it's necessary it is necessary on the back but on this front we're going to be putting a bow there anyway but I, I just figured why not so i just um added a little piece of trim there and uh, finished that off and then again i'll turn it to the back and glue that same piece another piece just like it to the back and that just kind of finishes uh, off and gives uh, this little bunny a neater appearance. And then uh, she'll be ready to uh, start dressing up. So once we get this glued in place, then we'll turn her over and start working on that neckline. And that's where uh, that, little, um, that little doily half it comes in handy and um so i'm just going to glue and i guess this is the back here I, I didn't remember that i started on the back but uh, i'm just going to glue this little uh, doily half all the way around the neckline here and see that's where it covers up those sides so it's not a big deal that that front was kind of folded had that pleat uh, so i'm just going to glue that around the back and then turn it over and do the same thing around the front. And you see why uh, having a, a girl bunny is a lot easier because uh, you can you can just hide this and make it look a lot better with these little doilies, I think. So again, I'm just gonna glue that all the way around the front and, um, and that will finish off the front. But now I did decide that uh, I didn't want that unfinished edge of the where I cut that doily uh, because I didn't want it to fray and I wasn't real crazy about the look of it. So I'm just taking this little ribbon from the Dollar Tree and uh, I'm just going to be gluing that ribbon uh, all the way around that neckline. Now, me personally, I'm just um, gluing the straight side of this ribbon to the top part and letting the scalloped side of the uh, ribbon uh, be turned downward, if that makes sense. Now, um, I made these last year, and I think I originally got the idea uh, from a Facebook group called the shabby tree and she makes a lot of these little crafts like this and i think that's where i first saw these bunnies now i was thinking that uh these would be hard to do uh in uh, a, a little boy bunny but i just happened to think you could uh instead of this lace collar from the doily you could cut uh, two triangles uh, or half triangles and make a little collar uh, for this little bunny. And then you could make a little bow tie and put on him. So I guess that would work also. Then you could make you a little, um, a little pair of these. Now we're going to be putting a hanger on this so, uh, so you'll be able to hang it up. Uh, maybe in a window or um, I think uh, that she would be really pretty in a spring wreath. Okay, so now we're going to make a little shabby bow to go on top. And if you've watched many of my videos, you've seen me make these. Um, so I just cut a bunch of strips of fabric, most of which I've just ripped up. And I'm just kind of crisscrossing them uh, and kind of distributing the different uh, textures. And, uh, and then I'm just going to take another little string and uh, double knot it uh, to tie these together. And then I'm just going to be uh, taking scissors and kind of uh, trimming it up. I would say neatening it up, but you're just going to kind of trim it up to where they're almost the same length. Uh, I don't want to say neaten, neatening it up because it's a shabby bow, so it's not going to be neat. Uh, but just just kind of uh, getting them the same length so that, uh, so that uh, some don't hang down a lot further than the others. 
And then I'm just gonna take some hot glue and glue it all the way across uh, the top. And I think that really, really helps uh, to dress this little bunny up. Again, if you wanted to do a little boy bunny, then uh, you could just leave that off because we did that, add that extra strip of fabric up there uh, to kind of neaten that top up. So um, if if it's gonna be a little boy, then, then uh, you don't have to worry about it. Now here I am using uh, a Dixie Belle paint in the color T-Rose. And the reason I'm using Dixie Belle here, I'm not sponsored, is just because I, I like this soft uh, pink color. Now you could use any kind of paint that you wanted. Uh, and I am just barely dry brushing this on because uh, if you really wet that paintbrush, uh, then it, it's just not gonna have this natural look. So just put some on your brush, rub it off on a paper plate, and, uh, and then just dry brush it on there. And if you don't get, have enough on your brush, then uh, just add more, but you sure can't take it off after you uh, put too much on. So uh, less is better here. And uh, now I'm just kind of uh, making little circles for the cheeks. And, and this is real hard to show that it, um, to see that it shows up, but as it dries, you'll be able to see it better. And if you don't get enough, uh, if you don't feel like it shows up enough, just, just dip your paintbrush in just a little dab of white and, uh, and just, kind of, just kind of very lightly brush over the top and it'll highlight those cheeks and you'll be able to see them a lot better. So here, I'm just gonna make a very simple uh, nose and mouth and I know that you see different bunny faces uh, this is my favorite one because uh, it just looks more like a little bunny face and it's uh, I think it's very simple to uh, to draw so I'm just gonna draw kind of a, an elongated U and um, and then I'm just gonna from from the lower part of that U, I'm just gonna draw a straight line straight down and then uh, kind of an upside down V for the mouth. And because I think that made him look a little, or made her look a little sad, then I kind of curved that up somewhat. And uh, that makes a simple little nose and a mouth. Now you could add uh, whiskers here, uh, but the thing about whiskers is uh, you have to be pretty sure you can get them wispy because if they're not, if you get them too pronounced, I, I just don't like that look at all. And then it's, it's too late. And then you've got to go back after you've already got all this cloth on here and try to repaint that whole face. And it just wasn't worth the risk to me. So I just decided to leave the whiskers off. And now I'm just gonna do kind of elongated circle eyes. And then I'm just gonna add some little whisk, wispy lashes. Now I just add a couple and kind of curve them and, and make sure you do that very light handed. Uh, because again, you don't want those uh, eyelashes too, sh too pronounced. And uh, for some reason, I just, I have to stop at two uh, because once I do three, I don't know what happens. I, I, that's just the point where I start to mess it up. So I always just do a couple and that's it. Now here, I've just taken a piece of that same string that I used for, uh, one of the, uh, one of the strings on the ribbon or on the shabby bow and I tied a knot in each end and now I'm just gluing them to that mesh in the back so that I'll have a hanger. And once that dries well, that'll be a good strong, uh, a good strong hanger because of that mesh. And there, as you can see, I somehow got a little bit of black on that uh, on that doily, so I had to just add some little handmade flowers. I hope you guys enjoyed this video, and I hope I've inspired you to go to Dollar Tree, pick up a couple of strainers, and make your own little bunny. Thank you so much for watching. I hope you have a great evening, and God bless you and your family.